tell you a chance at AMD have just dropped the bomb, the big bomb, the new mobile processor for laptops, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about these AMD GPUs. Let's get straight into it, and there you can see it with your own eyes. And that was Frankie Boy, the man from AMD. So here's the lineup of mobile GPUs. I will show you the best all AMD powered laptop in a sec, and believe me, it is the best one. So if we just look at these 40 compute units, so that's half what the desktop has, of course, using a lot less power as well you can see with your own eyes here but yeah 12 gigabytes with the 6800m and 40 compute units 10 gigabytes with the 6700m and 36 compute units and the 6600m 28 compute units with 8 gigabytes of ram of course you have to look at the clock speeds infinity cache size as well and the width of that memory there but these amds are probably going to be less expensive so this is the best one this is the strix this is not the same as the NVIDIA version, all right? They didn't just, oh, we'll just stick a 6800 in here. No, 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 no. They've done some work, vapor chamber. We have work on the VRM as well. I'll show you that. They're the pictures. These things are amazing. They're good laptops. One of my favorite, like, no-nonsense gaming laptops. Some key points here, of course, 5900 HX. I've got videos on that. I'll compare it to the M1. Go have a look at my back catalog. But, of course, we get the RX 6800M as an option. Okay, so AMD Smart Shift and AMD Smart Access. That means just resizable bar and dynamic boost. Basically the same sort of things, but AMD have the best implementation of this. Now, liquid metal, CPU and GPU, vapor chamber. Now, when I saw on this Strix it had a vapor chamber, I asked them, I said, why does it have a vapor chamber and the NVIDIA version doesn't? Does it draw more heat or what's going on? Does it use more power? Well, it actually does use more power. You'll see in a sec. But the reason Zeus gave me is with every single laptop they make, they have an R&D budget and they also get this innovation budget. That's separate to the R&D, right? This is just the innovation budget with every single laptop. It's separate to the R&D. It's just for innovation and that's what they use this money on. They used it on the VRM and the vapor chamber. So you got new fan blades, IR sensor for lower surface temperatures. I don't know <laughs> what that means. We do get FreeSync monitors. All AMD laptops, you get the FreeSync. You do get the super resolution, so the DLSS compared to two with AMD as well now. And these are all FreeSync. Has to be 144 hertz at least. So they're going to be good displays on these things. Uh, this thing has Dolby at most, good speakers, whatever. Aluminium chassis. So 90 watt hour battery, 100 watt charging USB-C. This thing looks awesome. Now if we have a look here, both of these have the same CPUs. As I said, I've got a video on this 5900 HX. The only difference is the GPUs, right? Now look, 145 watts plus 15% with Smart Boost, all right? So this is 145 watts with the AMD, right? Only 130 watts with the NVIDIA version. Now it doesn't have a 3080 option here. You can get up to a 165 watt 3080 if you want. I haven't seen any higher than that at the moment. A difference in VRAM, that may make a difference or not. Remember that these displays look the same, the RAM look the same, everything else looks the same apart from the GPU. We have 145 watts versus 130. And this tells the tale. 240 watt power supply, 280 watt power supply with the AMD, right? This AMD version will blow away this 3070 here. You have the vapor chamber as well. We'll have a look at that. Oh, have a look at that. Little AMD thing there. They do look nice, these laptops. That's the old Strix versus the new one. One thing to note is the clock speeds, right? 2300, that's not far off a desktop. Although, you know, half the compute units, of course. Here's the VRM. This is where they've done a lot of work, okay? Six phase for the CPU. 10 for the GPU. So they've done a lot of work on this and this is because they're using that vapor chamber. This is where they put their innovation budget. You can see upgradable RAM. We already know about AMD Smart Access. We do have a QHD 100% P3. Same as the last one I've shown you already. The NVIDIA version. Wi-Fi 6 of course. Thermal Grizzly liquid metal. How cool is that? And you can see there it has some sort of bracket that stops the, you know, the liquid metal leaking out there. And have a look at this. There's the vapor chamber. How cool does that look? It shows you where the memory is, the VRM is. That vapor chamber is a piece of art. So yeah, you know, good cooling. They're going to be quieter. I just want to go back to this spec sheet and I can't see anything about weight. Because I'm assuming with a vapor chamber it's going to be heavier. So they don't tell you anything about weight. But anyway, these are the new AMD GPUs. They look amazing. Coming out this month. Catching next one guys tally ho